uBrand Inc. has got some really great products for content curation, uh, no matter if you're doing article curation, video curation, uh, social media, things like that. It's a really good system they have. Um, I'm just showing you right now the site. This is what you'll see when you go to their site. Um, and you can dive into it a little bit more. They have a lot of resources too on how to curate, but what I wanted to go over real quick was um, some of their products and then how it works. So um, we're going to show a post in a minute, but um, they have Curation Traffic, which is a plugin, and you can see, um, just showing you this right now, so you can see kind of how it stacks up. You get single source curation, content summaries, YouTube and Vimeo videos. Okay, you can see all this stuff. <clears throat> you could, they also have the WP Roundup and then Curation Suite. All right, and if you get this, which is another uh, WordPress plugin, you get a lot of um, other options, as you can see. Uh, and it's honestly not that expensive compared to some of the other options out there. Uh, when you look at a lot of uh, curation products, uh, things like Curator, um, Curata, things like that, they can be pretty spendy. Uh, and uh, what I really like about um, the uBrand Inc. products is that they're a one-time uh, fee for these plugins, and they do offer some additional services that you can get as a subscription that can kind of power things up if you maybe do a lot of this. But I found these, uh, especially Curation Suite, to be great, um, and even the un unlimited number of sites plugin is really reasonable price. Um, and you can save links, um, you can do a lot more um, kind of prep work in the background. It's really nice. But let's just hop over and I'll show you what it does. So here we've just got your standard WordPress and then now they've integrated it so you click on the tab and you kind of have this pop in on the side which is handy. Um, I'm sure you can change it. It used to be more below um, and but now we can just start here. So what you're seeing now is you see search, curate, links, actions, and images credit. And there's a lot of stuff too in the uh, plugin you can set up for standards. You know, do you want automatic um, sourcing for articles and images? You know, most of the time you need that. You're going to want to have an attribution link and then you can set up perhaps how you want that to look. For example, we'll just put in here race cars and you can see we're looking in Google News and it, in the US. So these are all options you can go through Twitter, Bing, uh, Giphy, YouTube, SlideShare, and then different languages. Okay, so now we've got this um, so we can look through here and there's a lot we can do. We can add the picture to post, we can set as a featured. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click that and we'll say oh, I want to add that picture. It shows up right away and we could say, you know what, we want to curate this entire article. So once you do that, it pulls it up and it'll say page loading. So all it's doing now is pulling some more of the information out of the article. Okay, you've got the link, which you can load, but that's what it's literally doing right now. So we'll wait for that to load and take a look at the rest of this. Um, we've got headline text. Okay, you can clean it. Sometimes if it pulls it in and it'll maybe have the source over here, maybe you want that, maybe you don't. Um, I mean, it's already going to have an attribution link, so that's up to you. Um, and then you can put in the link text. This is what the attribution link is going to say. And this is going to be what links back to the source of the article. And then you can look through all the different images. So right now you're on images, so we're looking at all the images. Um, we can go over to the main content, and you can add sections at a time if you want. So um, it separates them out by paragraphs and gives you a word count. So we're just going to add a few on here. Okay, and we're going to add to post. I want block quotes on, and I'm going to put a headline in there, and we're going to put the link after. And just click add to post. Okay, so what this did now was added it to the top of the post because where I had the cursor, so we can remove or move this. For now, I'm just going to remove it. And so for curated article, obviously, you'd want to have something in there. You're not just copying content, you'd want to put something in there. You know, this is my personal intro and some more info um, you know and perhaps you're doing a roundup or something like that and you'd say you know what do you think about that here's some more okay I'm just typing stuff in here so you can see that but you can see how this looks so now it's automatically in block quotes um, it's formatted as a headline with the headline which again you can take out if you want You've got the information, and then you've got your attribution quote down, or sorry, attribution link with the anchor text described over here. So pretty handy. So this is just obviously a really quick way you can do this. You can see you can visit the link. Um, you know, we can go down here and look at more. It pulls things like lists, um, the links from the article, 
equals videos. Okay, pretty neat. Um, so let's again say we were wanted to add some more in here. So now we can go back to search and say, okay, well maybe I want now um, Twitter. Ah, and because I don't have the credentials in here. Anyways, it's easy to add in there since this is just a test site. I'm not going to take the time to do that, but it's pretty simple. Um, you just add your credentials in there and go. So let's pick something else. And we'll go with YouTube. All right, and we'll just say add to post this time. And there we go. All right, and then you could obviously go over here, add some more information, perhaps pull again back the link if you wanted to describe the video. But this is how easy it is. So in the past three or four minutes, we basically put together you know the skeleton of an article. And you can also uh, save keywords, save searches. Um, you can you know go in here and show link buckets, which is where you can save stuff for the next time. Maybe if you're running a site that is all in one theme, which hopefully your site is themed, you know, you come across stuff that maybe you're not going to use right away, but you want to save that for later. All right. Um, and then you can always go back to curate and it's got whatever your last article is. If you want to tweak something or if you want to, um, you know, pull it all, we can clear everything and load a link ourselves. If you come across an article and you don't use this. Um, so this is just a real quick overview, but hopefully you can see how handy this is. This ends up saving you a lot of time. So you can focus more on getting the content out. Uh, if you're doing this yourself, I find it very handy, um, but it also works well for outsourcers and VAs. It can really help speed up the process and take away um, some of the manual work. You know, you could ask them either if they know enough to set up keywords, um, do searches on their own, or you could even set this up for them and say, you know, here we're only going to search using certain keywords. Um, you know, only take from um, you know Google News and Bing News and YouTube and you know that's it but this really helps you um, set up a process that is repeatable and easy to follow and in the end just saves you time so hopefully this helped you out again they offer several uh, different um, options with this so you can get um, from their site you can go check it out and see what one's gonna work well for you there's a couple different plugins they offer um, and then some additional services. So uh, the link's below. Go check them out and see if it's going to work for you.